There are many steps to calculating the greenhouse gas inventory, but I'm going to walk you through it to take some of the mystique or mystery out of the whole process and walk you through the process one step at a time. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to define your boundary. And what I mean with that is it may seem like common sense, but let's say you're a, a large multinational organization with a bunch of joint ventures and maybe you've got some subsidiaries. First, you got to decide what exactly are we calling the company and what are we putting in there? Now, it's really up to you. You want to make sure you're capturing what is the most material aspects of your company, both financially and, you know, from an environmental standpoint. So you don't want to just say, oh, well, this little subsidiary, it's no big deal when it's a, a coal-powered plant and produces all your energy, but also 80% of your emissions. You need to make sure that's part of it. So you define your boundaries, you know, set your geographical and controls. Then you need to identify your emission sources and where they're coming from and calculate the data when you collect it. And we'll walk through that.